Hey everyone, it's Galen here from Love Your Belly Foods. This is our first ever YouTube video and we're really excited to show you our favorite food today, chickpea tempeh. So right here we have one quart of dry chickpeas and we decide to soak our chickpeas for quite some time and we actually soak them until they look like this. Our daughter has some digestive issues so we make sure to ferment our tempeh in as many ways as possible so that it's as digestible as possible. So we'll go ahead and take that quart of chickpeas that were soaked for about two days. And you don't have to soak them if you don't want them, but you will have to cook your peas longer, your chickpeas. And so one quart is four cups of dry chickpeas, in case you don't know. And we'll take those chickpeas, put them in our strainer, just give them a nice rinse. Basically the fermentation time that we did for two days in the water allows for some lactic acid bacteria and some other fermentations to go on which help to break down the chickpeas anti-nutrients like phytic acid and things like that and just make it more digestible. It also gives the chickpeas a more rich flavor and uh, definitely enhances the tempeh. You can always take the, the shortcut route and just boil your chickpeas dry but it takes longer and it can be harder to digest for people who have sensitive stomachs. So after you give those a nice little rinse we will then take our four cups of soaked chickpeas and plop those in the pot right over here. And then we will take a half a gallon of good filtered water, pour that over the chickpeas, and turn our stove on to high. We will let that cook for probably about 40 minutes. Masters, gentlemen, masters. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes now and our chickpeas are done cooking. We'll give you a, a little peek as to what they're gonna look like. So we'll absorb a lot of the water and we'll pull the chickpea out and I'll show you how done it should be. Now this is a part where tempeh makers sometimes get confused as to how cooked they should be. Now see that right there? It broke in my fingers, but it didn't completely smush. You can see that it's still a tiny bit dry inside. That is perfect. That means our chickpeas are ready to drain. So we're gonna bring Turn our stove off, bring our pot of chickpeas over here, drain them in our sink. Beautiful looking chickpeas. They are definitely my favorite bean in the entire world. They're so versatile. And the great thing about tempeh is before you could really only put chickpeas like as a hummus on your set on your sandwich or things like that. But with chickpea tempeh, you can put it into everything and incorporate chickpeas in whatever ways you want. So we'll let those drain out a little bit. You don't want too much water left in them, but a little bit's okay. So that's about good. And then we'll plop those back into our pot. And then we will go ahead and add our quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use whatever vinegar you like. We use apple cider vinegar and it helps to just balance out the right bacteria so that your tempeh can grow as healthy as it wants to. Stir in that vinegar. And the stove is off right now, we're just leaving it on the stove. And then we'll grab our potato mash. Now we'll want to mash up our chickpeas here. Now you don't want to mash all of them, you want to mash maybe about half of them to two thirds of them. Basically, if you don't do this, the tempeh culture has a hard time getting into the chickpeas and turning it into beautiful, fluffy, white tempeh. So right here we have about a teaspoon and a half of mixed strain tempeh culture. So this has two of the main tempeh cultures, which is Rhizopus oligosporus and Rhizopus orze. I find that it makes the prettiest and tastiest tempeh, which also has the most probiotics for your belly. So we are going to pour that into our cool chickpea mixture here. And we are just going to stir the heck out of it. You want to make sure you get the tempeh culture mixed in really well into your peas. And while I'm mixing this, my lovely, lovely camera 